Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and we're going to go through a bunch of photos about Mars and mainly the vegetation. This one is from the European Space Agency. This is on uh, Google Earth. 37 degrees north. Actually, th yeah. And 156 west. You can get the coordinates from uh, the picture. At any rate, I don't know why it's in red. Other than maybe it will swindle people into uh, not understanding that they're seeing vegetation. Or perhaps something else. Frankly, I've tried tweaking this photo and not gotten much out of it. We'll tweak it. It does look awful regular. Lots and lots of straight lines. And that's not good. Plus uh, certain bright objects that we can see. They must have used a red filter. This is obviously... It's got trees. And possibly structures. Uh, lots and lots of straight lines, and that's pretty indicative. This is probably looking down on a populated area. Man, that unnerves me having to say that, but uh, I gotta be true. A couple objects kind of look artificial. It's hard to tell with these overhead photos. That's why I've always done rover photos when they get started on this. Uh, at any rate, this is heavily, heavily vegetated. I'm going to move right along. Same basic area. Close up. You can see the green. Definitely vegetation. Not much in the way of detail because we don't have enough resolution. Okay. Again, here we have forested areas, and what I find interesting is these uh, dark areas here. I'm going to try some different things here, and yeah, that'll be better. Uh, kind of looks like a maybe a lake or something. You notice how the vegetation grows around these areas? Well, gee whiz, uh, vegetation grows around uh, lakes and bodies of water on Earth, too. You'll see a desert area, and then you see a river going through it, and there'll be vegetation on both sides. You know, go figure. Plants love water, right? And they have to have it, just like we do. Again, here we have the green and the finely detailed articulated stuff. We're looking at treetops, basically. Don't give me any crap about green rocks, and I'm not, bu I'm not even going to entertain it. See, the trees are something similar. It may not be exactly like they are on Earth. i got to caution you on that. Uh, I don't think they are. I think it's a different type of a... It's a plant, but it's a different type of life form other than a solid... Uh, standing tree like an oak or something like that. No, it's not an oak or whatever. So, you can see the brown of the trunks and the green. There isn't any question here. 
and again. Here's yet another area. Same exact thing. We see the brown, which shows the stems, trunks, whatever. And then we see the green, which is the uh, photosynthetic part. Standard vegetation, except the, the, this is on Mars, it's not on Earth. Da! And the close up, like I said, not enough resolution really, but it's easy to tell this is vegetation. If you can't tell, then I just feel sorry for anybody who believes the official story. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, done this. I'm going to skip over. Another close-up, more vegetation all over the place. It's only in patches. Most of the um, plant looks arid. Ever heard of an oasis? And here we go again. You notice how, how you have light areas, sand and rocks, and more sand and more rocks, and then you have these patches of the dark, the dark brown and the green. That is vegetation, people. It's probably some sort of tree. It may not be exactly what we have here on this planet. But there isn't any question of what it is. The question is why are we not being why is this not being shouted from the rooftops? They continue giving you a bunch of BS and the public buys it because they think the uh Lamestream media are uh, gods. To me, they're nothing more than liars most of the time. This is why I use alternative sources for the most part. Alright. We'll move right along. Does this not speak for itself? If you're not convinced by now, then... You're just going to believe the official story, no matter what evidence is pre presented to you. I don't think these, these don't look like, I'm looking at this from the perspective of deciduous he trees here in the northeast, and I'd say they're not exactly the same. Doesn't mean they aren't trees. Like I said, I don't think they're your standard oak tree or anything like that. This is an entirely different... I won't say it's a different form of life, but it's a different plant. And a different type of tree. You think uh, trees can't look weird? Uh, you ever heard of a bonsai tree? You ever seen a bonsai tree? I mean, the Japanese, what the Japanese will do is they'll, uh, they'll prune this tree and essentially starve it so that it only grows very small and it grows in the pot. Poor tree. Anyway, but, uh, so nature can do all sorts of weird stuff as well. If you, uh, if you think that this is rocks and sand dunes, then forget it. Don't bother with these videos because I can't reason with you. If you're looking at this and saying that's rocks and sand dunes, don't bother with me, alright? Because there is no way in hell that I could stretch this and do, uh, Sand and rock, sand and rocks, and all that. No way, no way, no way. I will not. And again, the same thing.
lot of these almost look like uh, arable oases, only they're bigger than the oasis you might find in the uh, Middle East. I think these are thick areas, full of trees, forested, that kind of thing. This is not what we've been taught. This is life. This is proof. I don't need any more than this. I'm going to tell you another thing. I've been through this with people on the internet. Uh, let me explain something to you. I know what a forest looks like. I don't need any scientist to tell me what a forest looks like. So if one of these idiots says, well, we'll tell you when it's a forest. No, that's not going to work. It's a forest or some kind of heavily vegetated area. That's the end of the subject. I know what a forest looks like. I don't need a scientist to tell me what it looks like. And I don't need their permission to speak about it. End the subject right there. It's vegetation, it's very odd, it only appears in certain patches too. I'm thinking patches where there's water. You can see other green patches in this photo. Well, uh, like, draw the arrow there, for instance. Well, it's definitely vegetation. There's no question that. And I got one more before I terminate this video. Same basic thing. I didn't know this program would do arrows before, so that'll be in my repertoire. Uh, the highest area appears to be right there. Now these are mosaics, you can see they're done by different uh, satellites, so they're going to vary. Next one over, you can see is barren. But these are forests of some kind. I'm just going to say a forest. I don't need a scientist to tell me what a forest looks like. I already know. And if you think that's extreme, well, let's think about this. You go outside, let's say you go to the Catskills. I drove through the Catskills when I'm on my way to Sandy Hook, right? And on the way back. You mean to tell me that a scientist can sit there and tell me I didn't see forests? You say, well, you didn't see a forest unless I tell you to. No, that doesn't work. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pull up with it. That's it for now. There's vegetation. There's life on that planet. You and I are being lied to, people. Speak out. Get informed. You're being lied to on a whole list of issues. There's all sorts of BS going on. It's not just Mars. There's a number of things flying around in our atmosphere, which kind of defy description, too. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Remember, you are being lied to in the subject.